Back out, folks. Back out. So, we're going to be going up the hills. Got a hefty pack on today. Uh, going to go a wee hike. Beacon a hill walk. Uh, but oh, a couple of miles. Not too far. So, the two mines, we're going to camp in us. I've got a hammock with me tonight. Uh, I've got that Morton to Moor 5. Great back at. But, uh, we are going to camp at a loch. So I'm trying to remember where or not there's, there's any bits for a hammock. If not, I'm going to head back. Back the way. And there's a nice kind of coastal point. A nice view. So, don't know. Stay with me. Be back cooking later on. Beautiful sunny day. Blue skies. Don't go away. This is us just coming up to the hill walk I was talking about. So, I dare say there must be fish in this. Uh, I'm assuming it's a, a private walk, there's we kind of, I don't know what you'd call them, we kind of fishing bits. That's probably not what you call them. You can see them up ahead, these we kind of wooden things. But, Beautiful wee lock. Oh, see, there's one of the wee wooden things there. Been up here once before uh, with Stuart. And Stuart did a wee camp up here. Oh, Scottish Wanderers, everybody knows them. Oh, it's just a, a stunning little, stunning wee lock. I'll just kind of get out the water's edge and give you a wee, you can look at it. It should not go too far and sink into the, into the mud. So, that's a wee hill walk. Nice, isn't it? Not too shabby. So, I had been thinking of setting up a hammock here, but the tree line looks kind of pretty thick. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the wee kind of loop and head back down a nice wee spot I know. It's up the hills but it looks down over the coast. Good view of Aaron, Hills or Craig, places like that. So, don't go away. Arrived. So, what we got tonight? A mock drum R5. So, hammock. It's actually the winter pad. Very good pad. Tarp. So, we're going to set that up just now. And then we'll sit back to relax.
Ah, lovely. So, good thing about this, it really has a fantastic bar of kit, the Dremor. So, if I pull these pulleys, basically, what happens is it turns into a, basically turns into a seat. And then, on the right, So you can basically sit back, pure comfort, crack gear, your business. So I've still to put the tarp up. I'll probably put the tarp up later on, uh, right now. Don't see the point. Sun's shining. I might as well enjoy the sunshine. So I'll probably sit back for a wee while. And I reckon I might just have a wee brew now. Why not? Well, let's see, it really is, it's a fantastic bit of kit this, bug net, it all folds up, it all folds up, but it fires over to one side, the, kit, the actual carry bag that it comes in, ideal, there's loads of different pockets, but right now, I'm going to have a brew it, out the Watsy Adventure gear mug, get a bit of kit, and I've actually got that Watsy gear grill with me tonight, so I'm going to cook something on that later on, get that used. But for a dead nail, I've got five custard flavoured donuts. So I'm going to fire into them, sit back, enjoy the sunshine. To be honest, I probably shouldn't eat these in here, because I'm going to, I'm going to get sugar everywhere. But I'm hand -marking. So, time for a couple of donuts. Donuts, brew with a view, love of the dream. What more could you ask for? Try please, this, uh, this week in a thermal mug is a great thing. Just clips off at the top, keeps your drink warm for say hours, or cold, whatever way you want to look at it. <sighs> what a view, but eh? View with a brew, comfy as. Can you beat getting out, can you? Good for the soul. So you can basically see, you maybe can't make out, but like I say, uh, Hills of Craig gets over that way. Island at the front. Here's your coast. It's just stunning, isn't it? It's actually that clear today. I don't know if you can make it out in this camera, but you can, can you even see a way, way over the kind of back island as well. Probably see if the island and things in a clear day, to be honest. But the day's yet young. Let's say I've got a wee bit of cooking to do. Eh, got a wee cider, get some wine. I'm not telling you what I'm cooking yet, you'll just have to stay tuned for that. But oh, it's just a beautiful day. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow as well. Anyway, I'm just, I'm yabbering on. I'm gonna. Sit back, chillax for a bit, and we'll do a bit of cooking later. Cooking wise, tonight I'm going to use this Otzi gear. Lots of adventure gear, spark. So, I did a wee kind of review video on this, well, it's on my channel, but I've not actually used it yet. So, it did actually give me a few different things. So, it's got everything for the wee floor, it's got a bit of fat wood, it's got you know, some fire starters. Let's get the oh, he's got a flint steel thing. Can't even really call them. One of them. Let's get these deep in a safe as I know, which again I think are obviously to help get the fire started. A bit of fat wood. 
So I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do tonight is, I'm going to, normally I'm quite lazy. <laughs> I just, I just light a, a fire or whatever, a, a lighter. But tonight I'm going to try and light it with what I've got here. Uh, what else? Put that back in there. It's also got one of these, one of these kind of pulley saw things. Well, or not, I'll use that, I don't know. And then you've got the, the main sections of the grill. And this does come in a stainless steel and titanium. And there's also the skewers, metal skewers for it as well. So as a really it's nice designed wee bit of kit, nice and light. Packs up, flat packs, so ideal. So I'm going to try and use this later on. Uh, we'll cook something up on it. But right now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to put it all together just now, just so it's all set up. And we'll bring you back. I'll show you what it looks like if you've not watched that other video. It's pretty simple. Just all slots together. Obviously get the different bits to it. Make sure I put it together right. Slots in. It's actually quite a sturdy wee bit of cut. Yeah, I can get it right. And that, that slides on like that. Right. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. And then it's got two different plates. It's got a solid plate and then the kind of the grill part. That's that there. So it comes in different sizes. This is the smallest one. I just asked uh, I'd asked if they could give me the smallest one because I thought I could have got the, the one. I think they've got about three different sizes. I can't remember the names of the other ones, but this one's the Otzi Spark. But, like I say, they just slot in. Obviously, you fill it up with, put in coals, wood, whatever you want. And then you can adjust the heights. The base light. Oh, put it on the right way. But it's definitely a neat wee bit of kit. Also, can I probably dare say it doubles up as a wee tiny fucking a fire pit as well. Saves you squats on the ground. But I'm quite looking forward to, to using that. Uh, like I say, I've got the skewers as well, so I'll get a bit of cooking done later on with us. Keep myself busy. So, made myself a wee 
Be bushcraft chair. I've got to bring my chair with me, so it's going to be a dead fall up here, so I just thought, why not? Could have, could have sat in the hammock, but I just thought, I've got, once I get this, uh, this grill going in the back cooking, just means I've got a wee kind of seat that I can sit in. But, oh, it's an absolute, what an absolute cracking day. Absolutely cracking. So it's getting on. What kind of time is it? Half three. What I might do is I might start prep my food. So, what have we got? We have right. I've got Brazilian barbecue marinade mix. Oh, I really like this one. That's a good one. Two chicken breasts. An onion. Red pepper. Couple of cloves of garlic, some tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it all up, and then it's chicken kebab time. I know just any chicken kebabs, but it's a wee chicken kebabs. So don't go away. Also got the Nomad Kitchen. So great wee bit of kit. All your spices, then knife, oil, lighter. You name it, it's got everything you need. We chopping board, which is ideal because I'm going to have to use that right now. And I think that's us ready to go. So, let's get chopping. That's it, all chopped up, time for a cider. Only thing I need to do is, yeah, is basically put it on the skewers and then light the stove, we're good to go. But right now, I'm going to sit back for a bit. What's that, four o'clock, maybe put that on about five, let it heat up. Cook the kebabs, and I've got a wee bottle of wine for later as well. But I'm literally just going to sit back again and just chill for a wee hour. Why not? Cheers, folks. So I was, uh, Stuart was supposed to be coming today, but he's been railroaded, so he's not coming. I think Bugsy can come out, Johnny can come out. 
I thought it was going to be a group issue today, but it's just a wee solo. But just cancelled at the last minute, so I was already here. Already set up, so I thought, well, I'm not going to hope. Not in a day like this. Because days like this, like these are the days you want to be out camping, isn't it? Well, saying that, I'll go out there anywhere, but it is, it's just nice see, to see to be able to sit in a pair of shorts and a t shirt. Just feel the sun against yourself. It's just oh, fantastic. But these Brazilian kebabs, mm, looking forward to these. I'm actually tempted to be honest, actually to start cooking them now, because I'm actually starting to get a wee bit hungry. So that, I've still got a, what have I got? I've still got, th I've still got three custard donuts, I'm not eating them all yet. But I thought, I'll try and eat them all, maybe have a couple later on, while I brew, once it starts getting dark. Which, nowadays, it's getting pretty light at night, isn't it? It's great, you can see the lighter nights, just fantastic. But that's just, that's another really nice spot. And I'm actually quite glad that I've got the hammer cup for a wee change, especially that I'm up for more. It really is, I mean, when I say, it's, when I say that's the comfiest hammock. Out of all the hammocks I've got, that's definitely the, the comfiest one. Uh, I still like my Hennessy, the D ones are good as well, but the mocks just, it's just light years ahead of any other hammock. Well, like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sit back for a bit. I'll bring you back once I, once we start cooking. Mm. <laughs> a tasty snack, isn't it? So, kebabs set up, Brazilian kebabs, let's get this stove on, let's get some tea. Right, let's give it a bash. Jobs are good in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that uh, let the kind of coals. I brought a couple of kind of wee, what do you call them? Barbecue kind of coals. There's plenty of wood done that about, but I thought I'll burn it in with the, the actual kind of coals. So there's oh, our kebabs. Mmm, you know they're gonna taste superb. Smells good by the way. Smells fantastic. So beautiful night. Absolutely stunning. Brazilian kebabs are on, ciders are flowing, wine still to go opened. It's all good. This is what it's all about though, isn't it? Definitely beats sitting in the house. So I'm gonna sit and wait my kebabs cooking. I'll have two just now, or maybe I've two later on. It really is what a night by the way, what a night. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Right. I think the first chicken kebabs ready. So before I do that, I cracked open a bottle of 19 Crimes, The Uprising. Cheers. Right. So, Brazilian kebabs. Oh aye, look at that. Mm. 
used. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Mm. Like that's absolutely superb. Very nice indeed. So it's 10 to 6. The sun's still absolutely beating down. Summer time. You really do have to love the summer weather, don't you? Mm. Oh, that's amazing, by the way. I've stuck another kebab on. Let's see, I'm going to have maybe have two just now. I'll have, uh, have two later on. Oh, that tastes so good. So, a good wee grill, but it ought to say spark. A lot of different, a lot of different grills, stoves. Mm. That was a good wee size, ideal for just chucking in your pack. Right, it's twenty past nine. Twenty past nine. Look at that. Tremendous. It was a Craig, Aaron. Just a beautiful night. Absolutely stunning. I'll keep saying it, but you've got to love the Ayrshire coast. God's country, as they say. So I'm sitting back in this bushcraft chair. I'll get in the hammock later on. Aaron's just looking absolutely fantastic. I just love the fact I was at the top of Goat Fell last week. Just, that was an amazing camp. Just what a spot it was up there. But I must admit, this is a nice spot as well. A couple of big kind of dark clouds up there. But view straight ahead, blue skies, sunshine, paradise. Right now though, I've had two chicken kebabs, I think it's time for another couple. So, that's kind of went out, so I think we'll just kindle that up. Got another couple of chicken kebabs and they go, maybe make a brew after that. Right, we've maybe got another hour or something of sunshine. After that, I'll probably just climb into my, my mock to more five. Back at. Right, five to nine. Time for another couple of kebabs. Just gonna stick these in the top of the kind of hot plate, kind of thing. I'm saying hot plate, hot grill, whatever it is. But time for another scran. So we're gonna cook these two kebabs. Look at that. Yeah, fantastic. Get to take a babs, eh, drink a wee bit more wine, and then we're going to get a wee fire on. Sit and chillax, watch the sun go down, and then we'll climb into the bag, climb into the hammock, probably crash out. But right now, it's only nine o'clock, so I'm just going to sit, wait a say, watch the sun go down. Babs are good to go. It's grand time. <laughs> um. Oh, 
this is a life. Quite a lot of kebab, don't you? Mm. It's been a good wee night. Wee solo camp. Like I say, I did expect uh, Stuart and Bugsy and that to be out, but these things happen. So glad I come out tonight, but this is weather wise, it's one of the nicest nights so far, I think. This year, anyway. We got a right when it's been raining, it's been sunny, it's been. As tonight, don't know, it's just stunning. So, I don't know whether I'll hopefully get some kind of decent night shots tonight. That's three down, one to go. So I've got a bit of chocolate to eat. I'm sure I'm going to have a brew. Well, even have a brew, I don't know. But I definitely will have a fire. As the sun goes down behind Aaron, I can imagine the temperature will drop quite a bit. So once that happens, Sorry, just going to get another kebab here. Last but not least. Lovely. Four kebabs. Done in. So, but now, what is it to say, hold your fingers up. But now, 10 minutes, I think the sun will be down. So, what I'll probably do, I'll maybe try and get a wee bit of, no slow-mo, what do you call it, time-lapse. Just with the sun going down behind Darren. Think you got a fire on. What a night. What a cracking view. I'll tell you, that's beach sitting in the house, done it. Fire on. The hammock's up. Beautiful night. What more could you ask for?
على ضعيف فاضي يا اخي هذا خلاص بس عارف شو هو الوضع هذا هو الشيء ترى اليوم يعز سكيد في السوق فوكس Did you play golf? Go to the pub. You do the same old thing that everybody else is doing. Like about doing this. It's just there's something about it, isn't there? It's just something about a fire, sunset. It really is. It's just worth a billion pounds, isn't it? Worth a billion pounds. I don't know how much more light we've got, but. It's just, it's amazing us. So I'm looking forward to actually now, just to get in at my hammock. A mock drum or five. Tell you, I'm going to get a great sleep tonight. Absolutely great sleep. But I'm going to sit by the fire. I'll probably sit by the fire until it gets totally pitch black. But it's just, it's just amazing. Like I say, I was going to have a brew, but I just can't be bothered. But I've got three, uh, I've got three custard donuts left. So, I might as well eat them. As my mother, mother and father used to say, there's folks starving in the world. I don't like to see food go to waste. So I'm going to scoff three. Uh, custard donuts. I've actually got a, uh, I've got a bit of chocolate as well. I will have that for a once I climb into the hammock. That's uh, ten past ten. Light's kind of fading, but it's actually still light. So. I'd say summer times here. Comment below. Who else has been out? Who else has been out enjoying the good weather? I just don't understand. I hope they sit in the house, do the bears like us, or go to the pub, or, I don't know, it's just not for me. But, some folk that's what I like to do. Half ten, half ten. So, I think what I'll do, I'm going to fire over to the hammock. It'll be in about five, ten minutes. can crash out. It really has, it's been a, it's been a great night. It's just, I'll be honest, I could actually, <laughs> I could actually just fall asleep at this fire. But, they can get in my hammock. So, time to depart to the sleep arrangements. Hammock time. In the hammock. I was going to try and get some night shots. <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> It's a good wee night, so I'm going to get an early night tonight. Fire's kind of just dying off now. 
lights definitely are slowly fading away. But I'm going to crash out. So what we'll do, I'll bring you back in the morning. Then we'll head off for there. Good night. Morning. Oh, what a great sleep. Oh, I'm just going to have a beautiful day if you see us. Tremendous. So it's, it's about 6 a.m. It's quite good. I got a kind of using the boys early night last night. So I'm going to get packed up. Uh, then I'll probably kind of head off. But nice wee spot. <sighs> Seeing get packed up, but I could actually. That way I could actually lie here for. Could be way longer, which I might actually do, but I really should go. Let's try and get down the road today. <laughs> Things to do, people to see. So, we'll get packed up and we'll, we'll head off. Right folks, that's us for another wee adventure. So if you don't mind, hit the wee like button, leave a wee comment, hit subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you in the next one folks. Adios.